Hello, I'm Kelly Ashton, and I want to tell you a little bit about a tool that I have come to really appreciate having right next to my sewing machine when I'm doing my patchwork piecing. I don't know how your sewing space is set up, but sometimes I'm in places where my pressing station is pretty far away. And um, I may not want to have to get up between each seam to go across the room and press a seam and then come back and sew the next one. So I found this really cool little tool. This is called the Violet Craft um, Rolling Seam Roller. And it's made out of wood, so it's heavy duty. I know that there are others on the market. I happen to like this one because it is so heavy. It's all, the handle's made of wood, the roller is made of wood, and it's a nice sturdy piece of metal that's holding it all together. And this tool has become invaluable to me. So let me show you how it works. I just pieced together these two half square triangles to make a half square triangle square. And if I just have a lot of piecing I wanna do and I don't wanna to have to go uh, across the room right away, all I have to do is fold my patchwork over and I carefully hold it so that I get a nice crisp seam and then I just run my roller, my little wooden roller, right over that seam. So I'm being careful, I'm going just straight along the seam so that I'm not distorting my block at all, putting a little bit of pressure there and look how nicely that makes my patchwork lay flat so that I don't have to run back and forth to the iron all the time. Now later on, I would probably wanna take this to the iron, maybe do even a little steam press with it, but gosh, if you just have to add some more other pieces on, this is really a handy tool. Now some people like to hold it up and down like this, and that seems to work just fine too, but I've been just as comfortable holding it um, just like you're, I'm showing you here, and it works just great. So I love this little tool, and if you try it, I bet you're gonna love it too. Have a great day of sewing.